Hello. Hi, everyone. Today, we'll continue looking at the Hong Mao Network Certified Engineer Question Bank. Next, we're on question 16. For question 16, first of all, updating the Ansible repository key actually has nothing to do with this. It's related to our previous question, question 14. It's about updating our key. Because in question 14, we just generated it. We just created it. And in question 15, we used it. For question 16, we need to modify the key we created earlier. So first of all, what we need to pay attention to here is when it comes to updating the key, the requirement here is that we are provided with two things. One is the old key, which is the current password. And then the new repository is the one below. Here, we need to change the old key to the new one you place. The old with the new. That's basically the requirement for this question. Not too many, right? There aren't a lot of requirements. Of course, as the next step in our process, here we still need to download and save a local copy of this repository, specifically from our classroom repository platform, just as we have done before. Download this repository into our Ansible directory, and then proceed with the operation. So here, what we actually need to do is download an encrypted repository file using the specified URL, then just change the password from old to new. Finally, verify whether the password is valid. Of course, this doesn't really change anything. It doesn't modify what we did in question 14. All it does is have us download a new one and make the change. It doesn't affect question 14, because here, actually, it's not easy to change question 14. Why? Because you change question 14 here. How would you verify later whether question 14 is correct, right? So since this involves the issue of result verification, in the assignment, question 14 is about creation, but question 16 is about modification. And it doesn't change question 14. What I mean is, after creating D, right, you go through the process of using and modifying it. However, you can't change the content of question 14. Because if you do, you won't be able to verify whether you did question 14 correctly. So here, it doesn't have us change question 14, but instead lets us download a new file through this link and then make changes to it. That's what this part is about. So first, let's take a look at it. For this question, the first thing we need to do is download our key. We need to download the key file first. So here, let's go to this section and download it first. As usual, we'll download it from the same place as before, which is a resource in our classroom. From the classroom, After downloading this file, this email file, we'll use our Ansible wealth command. Actually, we used this command to create it before, right? But this time, we're not creating it, nor are we modifying it, like in the previous question last time. We made a change, remember? Because there was a typo, we used create to create it. And for modifications, we can use this. This one here. In the last class, didn't we use edit to make some changes? We edited it. Or you could say that. But for this question, it's actually not editing uh, editing, strictly speaking, it's not editing. Because previously, when we used edit, it was to modify the contents of our file. But this time, what we need to do is to take this key, change the database password. This isn't as simple as just using the editor to make a quick change. Here, what you're dealing with is changing the password, which is VK. So let's make a modification. When it comes to making changes, first of all, of course, we need to specify exactly which file you want to modify. You can't just go and change the previous file, right? We can't modify the file from the last question. So let's specify the file we just downloaded. Let's specify the file we just downloaded. Next, we specify it as the YML file, this file here. I wrote it the wrong way around earlier. All right. After specifying this file, now we will proceed to modify the key. First, it asks us to enter something. What is the old key or the old password? Here, we need to enter it first. It's quite long, so make sure to get it right in one go. If you enter it incorrectly, it will give you an error. Next, for the new password, when we enter it here, since it's a password, nothing will be visible. So when you're entering it yourself, be careful not to make a mistake, really. Make sure you don't get it wrong. All right, then the next step is to confirm the new password. So just enter it again. You need to make sure that what you type both times is exactly the same. Just follow what's written in the instructions and you'll be fine. If you make a mistake even once, it will give you an error here. If uh, both entries are the same, no problem, you'll see here. It says, Ricky successful, meaning the key has been changed successfully. After the change is successful, what can we do? We can use this. Let's use our Ansible command to check whether our modifications are correct. 
this question is actually very simple. We just need to modify the key. Here, the specified command basically means that Ansible will prompt us to enter the password instead of providing it through a file or other means. Um, this is essentially a way for us to verify the password. So this is for Ansible to check whether our password is correct, which is why it asks us to enter the password. So here, you need to make sure you know your original password before making any changes, right? Now, first, you need to know what the original password is before you can proceed with the modification properly. And then after that, we just specify the file, right? So next, we specify the file. During the input process, you have to enter it twice to make sure they match. If you make a mistake either time, it will give you an error. But that's fine here, it just gives you an error. And you can simply enter it again. And then here, we use Ansible to verify it one more time by running the Ansible command again to double check. So for our verification here, how do we do it? It's still through our method of checking the contents of the encrypted file by viewing the contents of the encrypted file. Yeah. As for the file contents, we just check them through this file still by looking at this file. For this kind of verification, what do we need to input? We need to enter the password. We just change it in the password we just updated. And why is that? Because the password has already been changed successfully, right? So here, it just outputs the information directly, outputs this information directly. Because at this point in the process, we haven't actually added anything to our system yet. Specifically, we have not included any kind of password requirement for users. This means that, as it stands, there is no rule or restriction in place that would require someone to enter a password. So what we need to do now is take the ask that we mentioned above, which refers to the prompt or request for a password, and add it to our setup to ensure that a password is required. And then add this file this is to prompt us to enter the password for authentication. Now, let's take a careful look together and see exactly where the mistake is. Hmm. Oh, I missed a U. All right, so this is where we verify by entering the password. Just now, it displayed the information directly, just showed the content right away. So what do we need to make sure of here? We need to make sure that the content you just displayed, right, is the same as the content we get after entering the password here. Let me enter the password here. All right, okay, no problem. So here, this is normal by using the password, the one we just changed, we get this result, and that's all we need. And that's our 16th question, updating the Ansible vault key. And be careful, make sure not to change the file from question 14. This time, we're required to download a new file, then modify a piece of information in that file. After changing the original password to the new password in this file, just verify it at the end. The verification here isn't mainly about whether you changed it correctly or not. It's mainly just to check, you know, because if you haven't entered the wrong password both times, it would honestly be pretty uncomfortable and awkward. For example, if it asks you for a new password and you entered incorrectly both times, and the mistakes are the same, then there won't be any error message. But the password might not meet the requirements of the question. So in the end, you must remember to follow exactly what the question asks. Just write it as specified in the prompt. When you verify, enter the password according to the prompt. And if there's no problem, that means your change was correct. Otherwise, if you change the password incorrectly, there actually won't be any error message. You can change the password to whatever you want, but if you get it wrong and then have issues during verification, you need to pay attention to this in the question. So this is our 16th question, which is about updating the Ansible repository key. The main requirement is that since the key is quite long, just make sure to enter the password correctly. All right, that's all for question 16. If you need a complete question bank, you can leave a comment below and get the most stable collection at the best price. That's it for today, everyone. Bye-bye.